Look at that sweet boy. Look at him. I swear I could just make the whole vlog this little kitty. Where's the other one? Oh, the other one's down here. She's on top of the mess from my mic. Hey, Treble. <laughs> it's definitely later than I meant to record one of these, but you know what? Whatever. Good evening, friends. That gaming author here. And today is Wednesday the 13th, I think. Is today the 13th? It's just like, you're at the <laughs> I have no clue. Okay, yeah. Today is the 13th. Kayla's working on something cool over there. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, Treble's eyes are real big. She must be excited about something. Probably can't see her eyes from here, but she's excited over something. <sighs> We've been home for a couple hours. It's about 10 o'clock now, and it feels a lot later than it actually is. Because normally Kayla gets off at like 9, 9.30ish or something, but not today. Here. <laughs> and we are watching Tom Fox play the new Kirby game. And he's freaking out over a level. Oh, yeah. So that's fun. But yeah, today has been a good day. I haven't recorded my Pokemon episode yet. I'm hoping to do so soon, though. Uh, my plan is to probably record it before bed. I'm not entirely sure when that will be. But, you know... Now we're going into the darkness of the hallway. Allow me to flick on a light. If I can find a light switch. There we go. <laughs> oh yeah, and we've got the fan running in the background and everything. But it's been a nice day. Oh, a cat followed me in here. I think it's only one though. I'd show the cat, but our room's kind of a mess right now, and I don't want to show that on vlog, so that's a thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been a good day, and since yesterday, or since last night when I recorded the last vlog, too, we, uh, we looked into our, the house we, I was talking about in the last vlog, the one that was within walking distance of our current place, and we decided to let them know we were interested. So now we're just waiting to hear back. And if we don't hear back from them within like a couple days, we're probably going to call them and let them know, hey, we're interested on, we're interested in moving in pretty soon. So hopefully we can get some good luck there. Uh, starting this coming paycheck, I'm going to be saving a lot more money. Uh, so that way we can afford, you know, down payments and actually paying like the first month of rent. Also, kitty. Hey, Treble. Treble. Mm -hmm. Just get a big old side kitty butt. Oh, here's the here's the front. Treble. Oh, she is very happy. I can hear her purring. <laughs> uh, I love our cats so much. They're both so cute. Uh, my arm keeps getting tired. I'm gonna adjust the tripod, see if holding it in a different way will help me a little bit. Oh. Look at her. Our cats are so precious. Oh, the other one's here too! Jumper! <laughs> uh, I think they like being on our bed. But yeah, last night we sent them the emails so letting them know we're interested. And then we didn't go to bed until quite late. I can't... Uh, it was definitely past midnight when we went to bed. And then I actually slept, slept very well last night. I actually had a dream so vivid I kind of forgot what reality was when I woke up. But... I can't remember a single detail about the dream, so that's fun. But other than that, uh, I slept really well and I woke up about around 6.30. Uh, I didn't set an alarm for 5 a.m. like I usually do, so I just slept all the way through. I think I must have just been very tired. But it worked because I actually I had a good night of sleep and that was exactly what I needed, or I think I needed at least. 
So I woke up around 6.30. I didn't make coffee right away. I decided I'd rather uh, start with... Uh, start a little later, or get coffee a little later, and just power through the first part of the morning without it. Also, the... Yeah, let me go ahead and face the light. The lighting's a little awkward in the room just because it's right above me, so... The, uh... Getting a good camera angle is a little hard, but... You know, it works out. Anyway, we... Or I went to work. Kayla went to work earlier today. Uh, she went to work at like 11, and she's like 11 to 7 shift. And then... I dealt with work, and the first few calls I got were pretty rough. It wasn't too bad, though. I powered through them, and, you know, everything ended up alright, as it always does. And with that, I also... Uh, I, don't know, I guess I'm just getting more used to the job. I get a little nervous at times when I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, or when I talk to a customer who gets a little upset, but for the most part, the customers I've been talking to are nice and chill, which... I didn't think existed in the world of customer service, so that's a little strange. But strange in a good way. I've <laughs> just been talking to a lot of nice people, and I really appreciate that. I think that's something this job has sort of enhanced for me, in a way. It's sort of or something that uh, I've gotten accustomed to over time uh, not having a lot of access to talking to a lot of people in general. Because my last job, I worked in the back and worked mostly by myself. I hardly even talked to my coworkers or anything. I'd only really talk to uh, managers and stuff. And I'd occasionally talk to fellow employees if they, like, struck up a conversation. But with this job, I'm talking to people every day. I'm talking to a whole bunch of them. And some of them are a little less pleasant than others, but it's an experience nonetheless. And it's actually pretty nice, too. I feel like this job is sort of helping improve my let's play skills, if that makes sense. Because it's teaching me how to keep the conversation rolling, even when there's not much going on. So if there's a bit of awkward silence between me and the caller, I know how to keep the conversation going and uh, not have it be as silent for a longer period of time. And it's perfect. I think uh, that show that really showed in yesterday's episode, the first episode I finally recorded with my fancy new mic, and I was just talking the whole time. I feel like I was able to keep the conversation going, keep it up for a long amount of time, and I had no issue recording it. It was really nice. And the cats are probably under the bed because I no longer see them, so chances are that's where they're at. Also, I found my Crisis Core hoodie. Yeah. You guys probably can't see the words, or can't see the words proper because it's backwards, but... It is, embrace your dreams, and whatever happens, protect your honor. Because that's an amazing quote from the game, and I love it. Man, I loved Crisis Core. I did a Let's Play of it forever ago. And, uh, I mean, that's still on my YouTube channel. If you want to check it out, it's there. I did a, it was a six-part uh, live stream Let's Play, so each episode was, like, a couple hours, an hour long or so. And, yeah, I just beat the game. I started doing missions in it, but then after a while, I'm like, you know what? I know this game like the back of my hand. I don't think I need to do too much grinding. Because, I mean, there's not really any grinding in Crisis Core. You level up based on chance. So it's basically just, hey, the longer you're in combat, the more of a chance you have of leveling up. And some fights, you'll level up like twice in a row. And sometimes you'll go, you know, hours without leveling, leveling up at all. But I reached a point where I just wanted to play through the story and kind of ignore the missions, and that's what I did. I do want 100% the game someday, though. I think you have to play the game multiple times to do that, but I would like to get all the missions done. That's something I've never actually done when playing that game. I got really close when I owned the physical copy, or when I originally owned the physical copy when I was a teenager. I got really close. I had played through that game like four times and had like 70 hours on my save file, which, if you know Crisis Core, that's a lot of hours, because Crisis Core is not a long game, like, at all. And, uh, yeah, I played through that game like four times, had a lot of the missions taken out. I had both the Adam and Bengal and whatever it is that, uh, whatever the two accessories are that make it to where you can break the maximum amount of HP and MP to go over 9,999. 
for HP, and then over 999 for MP. So that was really cool. You know, I actually might boot up Crisis Core one of these days. I wouldn't do so now, just because we're using my PS4 controller for U we've been using it for YouTube lately, but I'd like to boot it up again and kind of start up a new playthrough. It's been a long time since I played. I haven't played it since uh, I had my gaming laptop, actually, so it's been quite some time. I'll have to revisit it. Crisis Core is one of my favorite games, and to be honest, I prefer it over the main Final Fantasy VII. I know that's kind of a hot take, I guess, or whatever, but I just, I do. The original Final Fantasy VII is amazing. I love the story, the characters, the gameplay, but I feel like Crisis Core and the brevity of the story and just how charming Zack as a character is makes it such a fantastic game and the story is amazing in general. I also really like the music. The music in Crisis Core is amazing. I particularly get the uh, the desert theme stuck in my head a lot. The one that plays when you're in a... Not Cosmo Canyon, what's it called? Uh, I can't think of it, because it's definitely not Cosmo Canyon. Gosh, what is the, that desert called? I can't think of it, but you know, I'm sure someone will at some point let me know. <laughs> but yeah, man, I love that game. I'll have to play that again. Right now, the only game I'm really playing is Pokemon Crystal. I know I was starting Persona 5 Royal up for a bit, but after that one vlog I mentioned where I got a game over and just haven't had the patience to play it, I kinda haven't played it since, so I've just been focusing on Pokemon Crystal. Now that I'm doing this, uh, you know, 30 day challenge where I try doing a vlog and a Pokemon video every day for 30 days, I think I'm just trying to focus on that more not playing any other games, that way I don't get too burnt out on video games in general. So I'm sort of limiting myself to what I'm doing. I'm cutting down the amount of uh, activities I do every day. So that way I can further enjoy the ones that I'm focusing on. And so far it's working. I'm on day four. I'm already recording a fourth vlog. And before bed, I'll be recording Pokemon Crystal. No guarantees that it won't be uploaded until after midnight, but I will at least record it before I go to bed, so I will count that as day four is recording, and then I will still record tomorrow. That's the plan, at least. And then, uh, with that, the rest of my day went about as normal as it usually has been. I didn't watch a movie today like I did on Monday, and partially Tuesday. Uh, pretty much after work, I got water, I fed the cats, oh I know I fed the cats while I was at work on one of my breaks. I got water, I put some YouTube on for the cats, so that because they get lonely if they're just in silence. And then I took a nap. I just came in, laid down and took a nap and didn't wake up until almost six I think. And then once I woke up, I just felt compelled to listen to some music, so I listened to a bunch of music from the Trails of Cold Steel series, a little bit from the Ease series, and I was talking to my brother for a while, so that was fun. And then after that, I went and picked Kayla up from the from her job. We went to the store to grab some uh, food and stuff, and then when we came back, I made pizza, and we just put on some YouTube videos, and that's what we're doing now. So after that, the plan is to record another Pokemon Crystal episode. And I've done plenty of grinding off camera, so hopefully we'll be able to make proper progress today and make it to Azalea Town. I think that's our next location. And then, yeah, that's the plan for the rest of the night. I don't know what I'll be doing tomorrow, but it will probably be much of the same. And we are we have plans to make Easter dinner. We don't really celebrate, I guess you could say, but we are making a thing out of it, because why not? It's rare that we really do much to celebrate holidays in general, so it's kind of fun to set time aside once in a while to like make a dinner spe uh, specified for a holiday or whatever, and just, you know, have fun and enjoy festivities once in a while. With that, I'll go ahead and end the vlog for tonight. I will go ahead and record Pokemon Crystal before the night is out, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a good day in the meantime.